<sighs> oh, boy. What a night. Oh, <laughs> you may have noticed that I'm a duck. Yep, I'm a duck, and you're probably wondering how I became a duck. It happened yesterday, and it started in this house just down the block. I knew someday my handsome prince would come and rescue me. And I knew someday I would find a lovely princess to be my bride. True love will always find a way. <sighs> and you, the man I have waited my entire life. Winona, are you watching fairy tales again? Uh, no, I, I was studying my magic spells. Don't lie to me, young lady. You were watching fairy tales again. I warn you, they'll give you bad dreams. Fairy tales aren't scary, Auntie. They are if you're a witch. Have you seen what they do to witches in fairy tales? They burn us, they melt us, and pretty children are always shoving us into ovens. I can't believe they show that stuff to kids. No, no, I don't want to hear this. Well, study your spells, and don't let me catch you watching or believing in fairy tales again. <laughs> I will find somebody someday, won't I? Somebody who thinks I'm beautiful and who really wants to love me. That really does happen, doesn't it? Nevermore! Ah! And while all that was going on in our neighborhood, we were out in farm country. And you know how much I love that. <sighs> I want to go home. <laughs> Gloria's making lasagna for dinner? Mm-hmm. Then I want to go home. You and Gloria seem very happy. Oh, we are, John. We are. Ever since we started dating, he seems happier and healthier. That's how I feel. And wait till you taste the dinner Gloria's making. Oh, I have to check on my lasagna. <laughs> I found myself a great little lady, John. And don't call me Doc Boy. I haven't called you Doc Boy yet. You will. Well, this was going on when Nona was studying spells. Oh, I almost forgot. In case you missed the earlier episode, when Nona had a crush on John, she tried to marry him, but fortunately, we stopped it in time so John could be with Liz. But she still had a crush on John and couldn't resist sneaking a peek at what he was doing. He is. She makes great lasagna. It won't matter. When Garfield's around and they serve lasagna, I never seem to get any. <laughs> John Arbuckle is so dreamy. I wonder who that guy he's talking to is. Don't worry, John. You're my brother. I'll make sure <gasps> His you don't. Brother! Another Arbuckle! Just don't call me Doc Boy. I didn't know John had a brother. And he's just as dreamy. <gasps> Did you hear that bird? I found my handsome prince at last. Nevermore. Oh. And off she went to bag herself her very own Arbuckle. <laughs> she had the laugh down, but she still wasn't great on her spells. <laughs> I have one more cow to milk. I'll be back before dinner is served. And don't call me Doc Boy. I have it. Yet. Better get your place at the table, Garfield. You don't want to be late. I've never been late for lasagna, and I don't intend to start now. Oh, and I uh, still want to go home. <laughs> Hello, my name is Winona, and I'm going to be your bride. Oh, that's nice. John's brother can be slow. About a gallon and a half later... My bride? Did you say you were going to be my bride? You can't say no to me. Yes, I can. Watch this. No, I said no to you. Oh, he's even oh. got a sense of humor. It goes with my sense of survival. <laughs> if he wants to play hard to get, I can play along. Room! <laughs> I'll tell you why I want to go home, Odie. It's boring here on the farm. Nothing ever happens. Ah! Help! Help! Don't fight it, Mr. Arbuckle! We were made for each other! Hey, I know who 
that is? That's Mrs. Cauldron's niece. What's all this noise about? Duck Boy, are you all right? I'm being chased by a witch who wants to marry me. Marry him? Yeah, and I knew you'd call me Duck Boy. Oh. I can't see who these people are, but I better cast some spells so they don't interfere. Like I said, Winona wasn't the greatest witch, <laughs> but she did have a copy of Magic Spells for Dummies. <laughs> Alakaz... Ah! Oh! She turned John into a squirrel. I don't know what's happening <laughs> here! Oh! <laughs> she turned me into a duck. Hey. You can't do this to my friends! They're all... <laughs> and she turned Odie into a... A dog? I guess I should have picked some other kind of animal. Oh well. Finally, she swooped up ah. Doc Boy and carried him off. Ah. Let's go get married, Doc Boy. Help! And don't call me Doc Boy. John went off looking for nuts. But Gloria stuck around to panic. Oh, I don't want to be a horse. I want to be Dad's wife. Well, unless we think of something, that job is about to be filled. No. The only person who can stop her is her aunt, Mrs. Cauldron. No. You're right. None of us can drive, but we do have transportation. Huh? Hello, Gloria. <laughs> Mrs. Cauldron will know what to do. We made it to Mrs. Cauldron's in no time. It was easy for her to change Gloria back to Gloria. Ella Kazak! <laughs> Dearie, are you all right? Do you know where you are? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> then, Cast a long range spell to turn John back into John. Alakazat! But changing me back to me proved to be more difficult. Duck into cat. Duck into cat. I can't seem to find it. Here's Duck into Aardvark. Oh, you wouldn't want it. No, I didn't think so. Well, the duck spell will wear off, eventually. We may not have much time. I know where she must have taken them. I'll take us there. This will be a great time to try out my new tricycle broom. In no time at all, we were airborne. <laughs> and in even less time than that, we were nearing the Tower of Witchery. This is where witches go to marry, or to get their warts polished. Do you, Winona, take this man to be your lawfully wedded warlock? For sure. And do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded witch? Will it matter if I say no? Not in the slightest. I didn't think so. And don't call me Doc Boy. I now pronounce you. Wait! Stop oh. the ceremony! Oh no, not again. Auntie! Winona, you bad little girl. <laughs> I just wanted someone to marry me. Is there anything <laughs> wrong with that? If he doesn't want to, plenty. Oh. Well, I guess I'm never gonna find anyone. Winona, you're young. And by the time I find someone, I'll be your age! <laughs> hey, give the kid a break. She's got to stop believing in fairy tales. Why? Because they don't come true. I'm 300 years old, and I've never seen a fairy tale come true. Did you ever believe in them? Well, no. Well, maybe that's why. But Winona does. She believes in true love and happy endings. Oh, those things don't happen in real life. They might if you let them happen. And in case you haven't noticed, you're a witch and I'm a talking cat who got turned into a duck. <laughs> this is not real life. Hello? 
Oh, yeah. Give your niece a break and... That's not a bad idea. Allah, cause Now that's what I call a handsome prince. It's no use. I guess some of us weren't meant to ever find true love. We all feel that way. Until we do. <gasps> I always knew you were coming! I just didn't think you'd ever show up. May I have the honor of this dance? Totally. <laughs> oh. Well, that's pretty much the happy ending of it all. Winona found her prince, Gloria and Doc Boy went home, and Mrs. Calden wiped out everyone's memory of what happened. Everyone except me, of course. Someone had to narrate this episode. Oh, and she assures me the stuck thing, it's going to wear off in a couple of days, or weeks, or sometime. In the meantime, I've decided to enjoy it. Huh? Mm. I've always wanted to fly south for the winter. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> We can stop off for pizza. Vito's has a discount for ducks. <laughs> 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 <laughs>